What it is, what it is, you don't see Cruise, your boys, Eddie Chunk Chunk, and we are back again with another banger for you guys today. What kind of banger this is? It's a muck bang! ZCC family, this is my first video back from my amazing trip. As you guys know, I turned big to nine. Woo! Everybody, round of applause. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Thank you so much for all of the love and support, man. Y'all spam me up like crazy. Even three, four days after my birthday, y'all still going nuts and still spamming me happy birthday. And you guys made this birthday very memorable. And today, I actually want to talk about all the festivities I got into because to be honest, this was the best birthday I ever had. Hands down, best birthday I ever had. And um, I'm gonna tell you guys everything that, that happened, but let's first get a prayer and thumbnail. Father God, I want to thank you for this food that we're about to receive in our body. And I ask that you do please bless this food. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Let's get a thumbnail. All right, you guys. Uh, as you guys can see, we're doing some black bean noodles today. I got some two times spicy sauce to add to it. We're not gonna go too crazy, but we're doing the black bean noodles and some fried chicken. This is just for flavor. It's not like a spicy, I'm doing a spicy challenge. I just wanna add some flavors to my black beans, but let's go ahead and mix that up. Yes, y'all see that smoke coming out fresh, hot, out the pot. And this is a horrible mix up job. I ain't gonna lie, I should've brought a, a plate. Mm -hmm. You know what I do need? I need a hair tie. Do I got hair ties over here? I didn't keep hair ties in my studio, y'all. One reminder, keep a hair tie in the studio because I hate when my hair gets in my food. I don't know how people do that. You know, people with beers too, food and food. I'm like, ugh. I know I want one, but I can't deal with that. Mm. Mm. It's good though. Y'all see that smoke? This is fresh. Mm. But you guys, the best 29th birthday. Well, only have one 29th birthday, but the best birthday I ever had. I spent it in one of my favorite cities, Las Vegas, Nevada. If you guys are following me, I told you I wasn't going to vlog at all. I wasn't going to be posting. Um, videos on it because it was a vacation like and plus uh i, I needed I, I even made a video which is i promise you let me explain everything i did make a video titled oh i need a vacation from youtube that video during that film of that video i had no clue i was actually going to do it you know and then for my birthday my partners friends family all kept asking me, what are you doing for your birthday? What are you doing for your birthday? And I legit had no clue at all what I was doing. Legit, I dated two days before the B-Day. Two days before the B-Day, that's when I got the tickets. <laughs> I'm drinking a ginger ale now because uh, I got off the flight and I had this ginger ale left. And Cause I always have to have ginger ale while I'm on a fight, get bad motion sickness, and I use that to take my pill. But um, yeah, I landed back here. I'm fresh from Vegas. I still probably got Vegas breath on me. Well, I'll brush my teeth today. Don't 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 come for me. But I got back. I landed in Vegas at two in the morning last night. Well, this morning technically. Oh. Mm. So um. Yeah, um, so last minute, decided I was going to go to Vegas, and boy, 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 did I go to Vegas. <laughs> Guys, I'm, me and my family, we're not that, we're big on like, how, how, like we're big on Christmas and stuff of that sort, but I feel like birthdays, we mostly do like a happy birthday and then, you know, take out for dinner, maybe a present, things of that sort, mostly just a happy birthday and a dinner. So... I never really done anything extravagant for my birthday. Like I never had a surprise birthday party or anything of that sort. Never is like uh, 
Oh, here's your gifts. Open up your gifts. It's your birthday. Never was like that. Me and my family were not. We never were that kind of family. And as you guys know, I was turning 29. And I said it's my last year, in my 20s. So I really want to go out with a bang. I want to have fun. You know, not go out because I'm not going out. I need to live a long time. I love life, but um, I want to have fun and I want to. Uh, my last year, in my 20s, turn up, go crazy. You know. So that's exactly what I did. Went to Vegas, man. Got there. It was a little chilly, but sunny. Nothing but sun out. I loved it. I stayed at the uh, Palazzo, Venetian Palazzo. Um, and I did the $20 trick, you guys. If you guys don't know what the $20 trick is, it's when you go up to um, your front desk, concierge, or what I mean, the check-in people, and you tell them, hey, are there any complimentary upgrades? And you hand them your ID, a $20 bill in the middle, and a um, in your credit card. And then they, once they see that 20 days, let me see what I can do for you. Excuse me. Sir, we got you. We have this room with this balcony, this view, and it's more updated now, this, now, that. Done deal. And I was able to get my room upgraded. <laughs> for free so people try it out don't feel hesitant don't feel like uh don't feel scared to try it and trust me it works i only tried it that one time and um it wasn't a fail but if you do try it um if it is a fail like let's say if they don't have any complimentary rooms i saw so many videos where they say usually if they can't do nothing for you they'll give you your money back and and say, oh, unfortunately, we don't have any, and give you your 20 back. So don't think you're going to lose out on a 20. And uh, also, don't be scared like you're doing something illegal, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, like you got to whisper, hey, is there any uh, complimentary upgrades? Like, you know what I mean? But don't be scared, hey, is there any complimentary upgrades? You know what I mean? Don't go crazy. Because that is a personal tip that I know they pocketed, you know? So, but it's, it's not no secret. I, they, I, I think all, everybody, like all the check-in people know about that, you know? Um, Vegas is a, is a, what is it called city? A um, hospitality city, you know, a city that works off tips. Um, so they, they'll do anything, not anything, but you know, they'll make sure you're good for that tip. You know what I mean? So got there, stayed there. Beautiful room, had a king suite, legit the bathroom. Tub, shower, tub, and a shower separate. And then I had a TV in the bathroom, TV in the bedroom, and TV in the uh, living room lounge area. I had a king suite. So three TVs all throughout the room. No matter where you're at in the lounge, the bedroom, or the bathroom, you can watch, you can watch your shows. But I didn't go to Vegas to sit in the room. I came to Vegas to turn up. And to be honest, that's exactly what I did. I turned up crazy. I probably can't tell you every single thing I did. And it's crazy because I had so much fun, but it was just so much like a, not a blur, but it's just like a, I was, I was on go, I was on go, you know? But one thing I did do that I recommend to all is I tried flyover. You guys, that is 100% worth it. I got some chicken too, if you guys can see. But flyover, Las Vegas flyover, 10 out of 10 experience. Mm -hmm. I did it before. And on um, Disney World, but it was an uh, Avatar one. And you guys, um, I forget which adventure I did. I think I did the Iceland one. Got it so worth it. 10 out of 10 experience. I had so much fun doing that. Um, what else did I do? We went to, I went to go see a few shows. Um, me personally, I'm a fan of uh, magician shows. So I booked all magician shows. I went to go see Penn and Taylor. Penn and Teller, and then some other guy. 
I forgot the other guy's name, which is crazy because the other guy was better. Pin and Teller was, you know, um, I think they gotta be your style of comedy. They're like comedy magici magicians. And they gotta be your style of comedy for you to like them. Um, but they had a bigger crowd and more laughs than the second magician that I like. But the second magician I like, I wasn't, I mean, it was a good, it was a good show. I was just upset the crowd wasn't into it. Like, like he would do a trick and then like hardly people weren't clapping. I'm like, I'm going crazy. I'm looking like, like I'm a super fan or something, but I wish the crowd was more into it. Cause when the crowd's into it crazy, then it's so much more fun. But, um, what else did I do? I went and, uh, I went shopping. I truly believe Vegas. Never really shopped in New York, but I believe Vegas was in competition for top places to go shopping at. You know, I know a lot of people say New York and some say Cali, but Vegas, oh my goodness, such an experience. All I gotta say is. I started 29 off right. I was definitely spoiled. Got to spoil myself. Got to relieve and zone out everything and just have fun. And it felt so good. And I feel good to be back. I miss the ZCC family. And you guys showed me so much love too during that time, during my birthday. So it was amazing. Um, I went, I ate at the top of the world on my birthday. Top of the world is the Stratosphere. And uh, the Strat, uh, yeah, the hotel called the Strat in Las Vegas. Top of the world and it rotates. I'm gonna let you guys know I did not feel sickness and I got bad motion sickness. So for the people who go there, I did not feel sick. I did not feel anything crazy. Um, the food was great. I had a filet mignon 10 ounce, I believe. Wagyu meat. I had a lobster tail, I had uh, poached shrimp, I had, and I had a, a few cocktails. Mm. It's a nice place to want to dress up. Everybody's there for the, uh, for some special occasion. I met so many people <laughs> who have a, who are sharing the same birthday as me, you know, which was nice, meeting some other fellow Aquarius. I never I feel like I never meet Aquarius because you guys know Aquarius is actually the rare sign, the rare zodiac sign. Look it up. I probably told you guys that before. But Aquarius this is the rare zodiac sign. Not a lot of people born on Aquarius during Aquarius season. But um, yeah, so good environment, good vibes. The service in Vegas in general is immaculate um, because like I said, it's a, oh, it's a hospitality city. That's the word, I don't know if I said that earlier, but it's a hospitality city. So they they work for tip there. So they are giving you your all, they're all, they're not half, half doing it, you know? And that's what I love about Vegas. And um, I also went off strip a few times and one of the places I went to was uh, Henderson to go to this place called Stormy Crab. <sighs> you guys, I'm not lying I said, when I say that was the best seafood experience I ever had. But there's only one kind. I wasn't a fan of their sauce. Wasn't a big fan of their sauce. Even I got the hottest of the hot and it very tastes very mild. And something about the sauce it tastes safe and very gritty or mm, had a weird texture. And I wasn't a fan of the sauce, but the food was cooked great. The snow crabs are coming out like butter. And for snow crabs to come out like butter for me, that says a lot. Lobster tails are cooked perfect, not overcooked, not tough. They're juicy and tender. And they played the most vibeous music 
ever. Nothing but 90s R&B, early 2000s R&B. It was, in, and it was owned by like some Asian people. And they playing the jams, not no, not just your typical uh, Usher, Let It Burn. Like they play some, uh, some, some jams. Yeah, like my whole life has changed. Like Pretty Ricky. I'm like, they was playing some jams. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I was feeling it really heavy. <laughs> and it was funny. They will, um, they'll play the jams, and then throw in like one white song, then throw in one Hispanic song, and then went back to R&B. I'm like, are they trying to be all exclusive? Like give everybody, okay, we could do everything, but we stick it with the R&B. Uh -huh. mm. But yeah, service there was great. And they even had a happy birthday wheel where you spin it, you can rent a free lobster. One, one, one choice. One was a ten percent off your whole meal. One was a pound of shrimp. One was a free dessert. One was, I think, a T-shirt or something. One was uh, uh, something else on the menu. It was crazy. I'm like, oh, that's the best birthday deals I ever seen in my life. They brought me out a cheesecake and fried ice cream. Um, sing me happy birthday, of course, and. Sorry guys. And I even signed my name on there. So on their wall. So if anybody could find my name, <laughs> take a picture of my name at Stormy Crime and Henderson if you live out there. And send it to me. I'm giving you a shout out. No cap. I'm giving you a shout out. <laughs> on my video. Let's if you live in um Las Vegas. Or if you go visit, I recommend going out to Henderson. It's a 20, 25 minute drive. Ain't nothing major. Great experience. But um, I was also kicking in the summer one too. Um, was sightseeing, looking at around some real estate. Yeah, I, was, I ain't gonna lie. When I'm in Vegas, I'm happy. I love it there. I'm talking about all strip too. Absolutely love it there. Um, it's crazy too because I'm even subscribed to the news in Vegas. Like I get news updates in Vegas, from Vegas <laughs> on my phone. But oh, and the drinks at that uh, Stormy Crab was um. $11 for any cocktail, pretty much, like that. That was the most expensive drink, $11, which was not bad at all. And then um, one thing, too, is if you guys are looking to try to, because I didn't do a video on it, but type in Las Vegas Eats and then Stormy Crab. Stormy Crab, Las Vegas Eats, he did a review, and that his review is actually what made me go there. The food looks crazy. Crazy. Um, honestly, I think it's safe to say Vegas has some of the best food because they have so much food. Like they have every different cuisine you can think of from low class to high class. You can get low class Chinese or some fancy $200 meal Chinese, you know? <laughs> So, I had no bad food, actually. I don't even think, I don't even think of all the places I ate. Hey, Gordon Ramsay, fish and chips, off the uh, Link Promenade. That was good. I had, what else did I have? I had the Strat, top of the world. I had some place inside the Bellagio that overlooks the the fountains. I ate at the bar though. They had good food. I had a place at Summerland at Red Rock Casino. I can't even think of all these names, but I had some food there. I had food all over. And I also got finally went to the Sugar Factory and had some of their drinks. 
one of their big turks with the smokes and everything. Not gonna lie, I was lit off. I was lit off that one drink. I had one, and I was lit. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I got lit off of it. But also, I ain't gonna lie, it's very sugary. So I didn't know if it was like me being lit plus me having a sugar rush, or just me being lit. Um, they recommend that. Mm, yeah, they recommend that um people share it if you get the big body. I did not share mine. I drank it all by myself, so I was definitely lit. It's mm. black noodles hitting. It's my first meal of the day. Actually, it's my first meal being back in Houston. <clears throat> Feels kind of nice to have some regular food. <laughs> Cause I ain't gonna lie. When I was in Vegas, <clears throat> you would have thought you would have thought I was Floyd's son, Floyd Mayweather's son. What I was doing. Everybody go steaks, steaks, steaks. Your best steak. What's it? What does the chef recommend? Give me, give me your most expensive cocktail. I was, I was like, I ain't gonna lie, I was like, really donkey. But it feels good to have some regular food. That's why my last day I did go get some Gordon Ramsay, the fish and chips, because that's that like my only like feel regular meal. I had a seafood boil. I count seafood boil as a regular meal now because I eat them all the time. But that seafood boil wasn't a regular price. <laughs> I'll let y'all know that one. Now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was eating out, going crazy, drinks every day. Oh, I tried a liquid IV. Um, I took a BC Power before the liquid IV. That means that night before. So, and I know BC Powder actually works for me. And I did get my stuff that night. So I don't know how much of an effect the, the liquid IV had for me. I don't know if it works really good or it doesn't. I really think in order for you to truly test it, you can't do no BC powder, no lots of water. You gotta just get messed up. Next day, be hungover AF. Go try it out and see if it works. Um, they, um, it is kind of taxing. I believe I got one of the cheaper options and that was $200. So that's taxing, not kind of, that's taxing. Just to recover for a day. Mm. But, you know, they run some tests on you to make sure you aren't even eligible to, to get it because it's pumping so much stuff in you. It is kind of painful to put the needle in your arm. Um, whenever I get blood drawn, I try to look away. Mm -hmm. But, uh, see, getting blood drawn anywhere else is well. It's just when it comes in these veins, I mean, not blood drawn. Well, yeah, it's always in these veins, isn't it? Oh, yeah, blood drawn and getting a shot, two different things. So, yeah, getting shots, so getting blood drawn, they got to go inside these arms. I hate it. <laughs> but it's just a quick pain. I'm saying that's good. But uh, the guy who did it to me, he was cool. Uh, he was from Texas, too. Lived in Vegas for two two years. Guys, I did there. And I talked to him. Also I talked to another local who actually talked to a lot of locals. I was talking I was chopping it up with my Uber drivers and everything. And I just asked them, all of them, what's their experiences living there? Uh hmm. Mm -hmm. No one how far. No one is from Vegas, so everybody's coming from somewhere else. And only one guy said he didn't like it no more. Mind you, and he was saying it's, it wasn't the same 20 years ago. That's, that's pretty much any city. <laughs> Not one city is the same. 
And I'm pretty sure not one city went to the better 20 years later from now. I'm sure to sure every city went downhill from 20 years ago. So other than that, everybody says such great things about Vegas, people who live there. They love the they love their experience there, so I don't know what that means for your boys DCC, man. Y'all know I've been on it. Legit. Something holds me back every single year. Last year was my closest. I signed the lease. I went, picked up the keys, everything. I was a hash hash go house. This is the last time I went to Vegas. Cancel my lease on the phone at hash hash go house. And canceled that was in last minute. So but I ain't gonna lie, when I'm there, I'm happy. I have so much fun. Such a good time. Went to the top of the world, which is the, not top of the world. I did the Ferris wheel, the high link roller. That was a good time. I did the limited drink package. It was 70 bucks. And it's one time around. It was probably last around 30 minutes. I was able to drink, I think two to three Chardonnays. I was having to drink a wine. I was drinking wine. Two to three Chardonnays during that spin. And um, also they have another option where you don't have to do the, um, you don't have to do the, uh, the happy hour bar and you could just do, just go around and then you could buy drinks at their bar before you hop on. So I don't know if which one's a cheaper option. I was just going, I was just going all crazy and I did that option. Oh, one of the most crazy experiences I don't know why I haven't mentioned it. Is I went on a racetrack, an actual racetrack at Dream Racing, and I drove their fastest car they had available. It's a Ferrari GT something. It was some kind of Ferrari. I can't even tell you. Look up their Ferrari. Look up Dream Racing. Their Ferrari, their fastest car for five laps is like seven hundred dollars. And I got to do that experience. I got a picture, everything, a plaque. It was nice, and I got to go around the lace track. And honestly, it is it's not sweet. You gotta weigh 150 pounds to go do that. Those cars are so small to get in, it's so hard. And honestly, I, was, I couldn't even breathe inside that car. And I was thinking about calling it quits early because that's how tough it was, but I just I just did it through because it was just such an experience and I'm really glad I got to do it. it was, and I was in, I think I was in Henderson when I did that one. The mountains are beautiful. Palm trees are beautiful. The weather was, it was chilly, but <sighs> Vegas is just a lifestyle, man. I love it there. But yeah, I did Dream Racing. Drove their fastest for our car, which was a Ferrari something. And that thing was crazy. I actually learned some skills. I feel like whatever I'm about to race in my Corvette, I know a little thing or two to do now. You know what I mean? But um, I, I say I, I, went, I went there knowing zero out of 10 information about racing, real racing, not at a stoplight going, not at a real life. I'm talking about doing laps and circuit circuit racing and how to brake and when to brake and when to turn and how to, you know, not drift, but, you know, go into it. But I'll say leaving there, I'm now a two out of 10, <laughs> three out of 10, because it's definitely still a lot of work. It's not sweet, I'm keeping 1,000, it's not sweet at all. But uh, I learned some. I learned some, uh, some some stuff there, and that was a great experience. Even though I wasn't the most comfortable, I 100% do not regret it. I love that experience because not many people could say they got to drive on a racetrack with a race car. This wasn't a Ferrari. Oh, this Ferrari wasn't a a, a street legal Ferrari. This wasn't a Ferrari that someone just goes by. This was a race tr race car Ferrari. Race car for like the small the small square cutout for people to squeeze their body. It was a racetrack for I. It wasn't street legal at all. So, overall, man, I did so much. I may make a real thing where I say 29th birthday on my Instagram, but if you guys are following me on Instagram, man, you guys, a lot of people said, thank you so much for posting it. I live vicariously through you. It looked like you had so much fun, which I did, man. Vegas is amazing, and I know once I move out there and I start making content, I'm gonna show that city like no other. I'm telling you. There are some Vegas vloggers that are actually out there that I did meet. I met Jacob's Life in Vegas and I met Jaycation. 
saw both of them, not at the same time, two, two different times. So that was, that was kind of dope. But um, yeah, there are some great content creators out there too. There's actually one that's from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Her name's Shaba Ruby. Love watching her channel. Love watching Norma Pompsy. All of them, you know, and of course, shout out to the to my people, uh, Chris and Jamil. They do the mukbangs over there, but I'm gonna show off that city like no other. I loved it. I feel refreshed. I feel new. I feel regenerated. 200 to uh, big 29, 2023, amazing year. And I'm just so grateful for all the love that you guys showed me. You guys made this birthday one of the best birthdays as well, which has spent me with so much love and happiness and joy, no negativity. And uh, I brought this year in so far, so great. So I'm happy, you guys, I really am. I feel rejuvenated and it's time to bring out bangers now. But ZCC family, I hope you guys enjoyed this meal. I had the black bean noodles, some fried chicken. This was pretty good. Like I said, my first meal back in Houston, Texas, and I definitely enjoyed it. Make sure you follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok. All is Zaddy Chunk Chunk. That is Z A D D Y C H U N K C H U N K. But ZCC family. As we all know, the grind never stops until the ZCC gang is on top. Let's get it! Bye.